Volkswagen has a rocky road ahead. The company's admission that it used software to manipulate the results of emission testing to sidestep pollution standards in millions of cars has rocked the automaker. And the figures involved are pretty staggering. As Volkswagen begins cleaning up its emissions scandal, here's a look at the story so far in numbers. Nearly 11 million vehicles have the defeat device, and five of Volkswagen's 12 brands are affected. This includes 5 million Volkswagen cars, 2.1 million Audis, 1.8 million Volkswagen trucks, 1.2 million of the Czech Republic brand Skoda, and 700,000 Spanish Seats. So where are these cars? There are 2.8 million in Germany, another 1.2 million in the UK, France has 900,000, Spain has 684,000, Italy has 648,000, and the US has about 482,000. The recalls are expected to begin in January. In the wake of the scandal, VW share prices fell roughly 40%. Financially, Volkswagen has set aside about $7 billion in potential damages, but the new CEO said this will not be enough. U.S. officials said they could face sizable penalties of up to $37,500 per car, or more than $18 billion in total. Though, analysts say they may not have to pay that much. VW has about $28 billion in cash reserves. The implications of the scandal go beyond the company. Volkswagen is Germany's largest corporation. For many, it is Germany Inc. It generated almost $227 billion in revenue last year. VW employs about 600,000 people worldwide and nearly 300,000 employees in Germany at 29 plants across the country. Every seventh job in Germany is linked to the nation's export-oriented auto industry. Volkswagen chief executive Matthias Müller said the company would try to avoid job cuts, but warned all projects and the company's investment plans of over $73 billion were under review. According to a person present at a VW supervisory board meeting, Hans-Dieter Putsch, chairman of the supervisory board, said the scandal had plunged the company into a crisis that threatens the existence of the company but added he was confident Volkswagen would survive the worst crisis in its 78-year history.